Hello, my name's Gemma and today I'd like to talk a bit about what happens when you don't get the job. Because being able to bounce back from rejection is something which unfortunately we all have to deal with from time to time. In fact, I say from time to time, but actually over the course of my career, during which I've been not just a temp, but also a writer, an actress and a presenter, I've had to accept that rejection is just part and parcel of life. Quite frankly, I'm used to it and have learnt that what counts is how you come back from it. So, if you've lost out on a job recently that you really wanted, don't feel down and here come a few tips on how to move onwards and upwards. Number one, rejection happens to everyone. If you've never been turned down or rejected for anything, I would go as far as to suggest that maybe you haven't tried hard enough to achieve your goals. You see, if you never put your head above the parapet, never give things a go or challenge yourself, then you can't be rejected. But that's not going to get you very far in life. So, in order to succeed, you need to accept that the road won't be completely smooth or without its bumps. That said, look at the most successful and inspiring person you know and be assured that in the past they will have heard the words I'm afraid this time your application hasn't been successful, but we wish you well. To inspire you further, let's look at a few examples of fairly successful people who've been rejected. J.K. Rowling, arguably the most famous living writer, received 12 rejections from different publishers for Harry Potter. That's 12 publishers who turned down the chance to publish the books, which have generated about 450 million quid's worth of sales rather them than me. Simon Cowell turned down Take That and Elvis was told after an early performance to stick to truck driving. Einstein was expelled from school, Bill Gates' first business flopped and Marilyn Monroe was once told to go away and be a secretary because she didn't have what it took to be a model or an actress. You see, rejection doesn't mean that you're not cut out for the kind of job you're going for, just that you need to go again. Number two, Ask for feedback and learn from it. Okay, so you didn't get the job, but maybe finding out why could be really helpful in future interviews. So consider asking for feedback. Any employer worth their salt will be happy to provide it. They might simply say that on this occasion, someone else was a slightly better fit or had more experience. Or they might tell you something more specific and that information could be really useful going forward. If you can turn the process of being interviewed into a useful learning opportunity, then you're the winner anyway. So don't take rejection to heart. Think objectively and concentrate on building on your core strengths so that you'll have more chance of getting the next job you go for. Number three, be philosophical. I can remember at least three different occasions in life when I really wanted to get a job I'd applied for, but didn't. At the time, I felt crushingly disappointed for a short while. It felt like the end of the world. But what's interesting is that in the fullness of time and with hindsight, I've always been able to recognise that not getting those particular jobs was for the best because something else came along which suited me better. And the same will happen for you. And there's great comfort to be taken from the old adage, things happen for a reason. Number four, onwards. Right. If you've suffered a rejection, I'm allowing you one duvet day, one session in the gym that's a bit angry, spin classes are great for this, one moan to your mother or your mate down the pub, whichever you prefer, but that's all you've got. Like I've said before, the thing which counts with rejection is how you move forward from it. So it's time to take a leaf out of Taylor Swift's book and shake it off, and then start making plans to conquer the world. Good luck, and I'll see you soon.